We're going to see FIFA rolling out some of the player ratings, features, more in-depth discussion um, and more gameplay from other content creators and YouTubers um, just looking over the games of what's to come. Now, looking at the past couple of times we've seen the ratings, I thought I'd do a YouTube video on it anyway. Um, I'm going to be starting my YouTube channel up um, consisting of all games, FIFA WWE, everything. Um, so when the new FIFA drops, I'm going to be loading up with some points. 12,000. Every other week I will be doing a pack opening and putting it on YouTube. Best poll packs. Um, but as for now, we're going to go through player ratings. Start off with 30 to 21. Looking at this card, Coutinho, great card. You look at it, weak foot, four star. Five star skills, 81 pace, not the best for a left winger. Um, coming from La Liga, the pace is quite a slow build up. You know, you watch it yourself. Um, the the pace is more midfield passing, trying to break down the midfield. Hence why his dribbling is so high. Physical, not the best, but do you really need that for left wing if you've got 81 pace? 86 passing is a blessing. You've got to love that. Moving on to the next one, Hugo Lloris. If not the best World, World Cup winning goalkeeper going um, in the Premier League at the minute. Um, 88 handling, 84 handling, sorry, 88 diving, 92 reflexes. And his position's not bad either. This could be one of the cards you see getting used a lot. Um, second to David De Gea, I'm assuming. Um, he's obviously a great card to have. Um... His save technique is traditional. That's obviously going to be somewhat new in FIFA. Um, I can't say I've seen that before. Not that I've checked much anyway. Moving on to Marcelo. 82 pace and 82 physical, 90 dribbling. Great card. It's again, skill moves, five star. You're going to expect that with a Brazilian. High left back. Um, defensive low, work rate, high attacking rate. Going to bomb forward. To get forward as quick as he can. Physical, excellent to have on a uh, left back such as Tacnus himself. He can get forward. And with the new game modes in FIFA, the new tactics, you're going to see a lot of left backs, left wing backs getting forward a lot more, um, which will be great to see. Um, not so much if you're playing against it. Moving on, now this is a disappointment to me. Um, Salah, skill moves four. Yeah, I agree with that. Weak star, three. I, I don't get that weak foot star three. Um, it, it baffles my mind. Um, the kind of stuff he does and shooting with his other foot, right foot. I mean, he was top goal scorer in the Premier League last season. 92 pace, you couldn't agree with it. 84 shooting, I think it could have been a bit better. Maybe an 88, who am I to judge? Um, I'm not EA. I'm not going to have a go to EA. They do a fantastic job. Um, with the game content getting created at the moment. Couldn't be any better. Going to be a card I'm looking out for. In the coming FIFA starting. Going to be a high price. You know he is just with that pace. Um, you can expect that for the likes of him. Sterling. Um, Mane. And Lacazette. Aubameyang. The fast strikers. Here we go Isco. 89 rated. Dribbling. Great. 92. Fantastic, that's what you want. Passing 85, that's what you expect from La Liga. It, it's the passing play, it's the dribbling, it's the movement, it's a skill. Not much pace if you're going in between the midfield, I don't think, anyway. So you're not going to get a lot of people doing a lot of passing on um, La Liga, um, a lot of running with La Liga players. Um, they're going to be a funny one to defend against, um, that is for sure. But... With a calm, like Isco, you're going to use his dribbling. You're going to use his shooting. Um, quite a good player last year. With long shots, you can get them away. And that's what you want. Next, we'll move on to Ter Stegen, number 25. Six foot two. Great pass of the ball. 90 reflexes. 88 kicking. 87 diving. 85 handling. His position is great as well. Absolute monster last year. 
I thought one of the keepers that was underrated um, on the game. I think goalkeepers weren't the best last season, uh, last FIFA, sorry. Um, and hopefully we see an improvement on the AI from that. The positioning, the handling um, should mean a thing in Ultimate Team, I believe, anyway. Move on to David Silva, number 24, 89, centre attacker mid. Spanish, again, doesn't do a lot of running, but boy, can he pick out a pass. And his dribbling is second to none. You're going to see a lot of skill moves from him. Yeah, at the age of 32, yeah, you wouldn't expect high pace. But, he's shooting. You're going to be more of a creative player with him. You definitely can get a few shots away, get him in the box, maybe on the outside of the box, finesse. But, what a guy to have in your team, if you can have him in. That is for sure. Moving on to 23. Matt Hummels, strong centre-back, 65 pace in the German League once again. His pace, not the best, but he's defending and he's physical. Will do you more in a, in a race. You want to keep him back on a low work rate. Keep him at the back so he doesn't get counter-attacked on. You're going to use your wing-backs for him anyway. But if you were to do a, a um, Bundesliga team, he's going to be your main centre-back, him and Boateng. Anyway, if you're going for sheer Pay, uh, defending and power um, you're not going to get much better than Boateng's and Hummels moving on to Edison Cavani number 22 not much of a use of a card he's, he, he's high, his height is something you play with um, if you're getting him in the box he's shooting great 87 can't argue with that um, La Liga um, Ligue 1 last season he was absolutely prolific dribbling uh, you, you could work with him 83 physical strength, um, absolute monster in Ligue 1. And that's, if, you, if you're going to build a team um, in Ligue 1, he's obviously going to be your starting striker um, if you wanted power. It depends on your style of play, um, but he's not going to miss many chances. Moving on to the last one of this episode, Dybala. Calm, 89 rated. 85 shooting, 84 pay, uh, passing, 85 pace, 91 dribbling. That's the one you want. Um, that and his long shots, I'm assuming, are going to be quite prolific. And you're going to want to use them a lot. If you can get him in the box, if you're building a Serie A team, a Calcier team, you're going to keep him in your team. I know he'll be expensive, but if you've got the money um, or you pack him, fortunately for you, I think you'll work well with him. Um, Ronaldo in that league this year it's going to be one of the teams that gets built a lot Quadrado um, Hamsik Signe Golan. you're going to make up more in the attacking than you would in the defending I must say so overall dropping with the old ratings here I believe Salah, yeah, got an increase on his card, as he should have. But I still do believe his shooting should have been about 86. Um, but who might argue? His in-game stats might be much better. And you might look at him and play with him and feel more different. As a right wing, he's going to be one of your starting right wings. Personally, for me, it would probably be Salah, Mane. Bit of pace down the wing, counter-attack on the defence. Um, but yeah, that concludes our video today if you've liked the video if you like watching the ratings if you want to see me open packs uh rewards division rivals please drop a like hit the subscribe button and for now we out of time peace